Hello and welcome to London's Leicester Square where we are here this evening for tonight's Mastercard Gala premiere of An Education. Now while you're sitting at home staying nice and warm, your fabulous Phase 9 crew are out here in the cold to make sure that you catch all the latest celebrity gossip and news from here on the red carpet. Is this the first screenplay you've adapted from a novel that's not your own? Yes, um, not a novel, it was a, a, a short essay I adapted, um, So, but yes, the first time I've adapted someone else's work. And what made you, what attracted you to this script? Um, well, I, I really loved the piece. I thought um, that tonally it was very unusual because it was quite painful and quite funny. And it's something that I look for in fiction, you know, those are the ideas that I'm, I'm trying to come up with, things that have the, the potential for both. And that was already there in this short piece. Um, and it was a world I didn't know very much about. It's London in the 60s, but not the 60s, not Beatles and Carnaby Street. It was right before all that happened. And there's this sort of bohemian underworld that I don't think I'd ever seen before and things like that. So. Have you seen the film yet? Oh, yeah, <laughs> a few times. Uh, it's so much better than I thought it could ever be. Um, I don't think you can imagine how amazing um, a difference a brilliant cast can make. And, and the cast in this film is so phenomenal that um, pretty much they get something out of every line, even if there wasn't much there for them. <laughs> okay, thank you. Tell us a bit about your role in the film. Well, I play a really vicious, vile, fascistic, anti-Semitic headmistress with hair like Margaret Thatcher. Um, so it's not it's not my favourite thing that I've ever had to do. But I must say that when I was watching the film for the first time, I was enjoying the film so much that I had actually forgotten I was in it. And when I turned up looking like hell on a skates. I thought, oh God, who's that? Oh Christ, it's me! I'm ghastly! Oh shit! Oh God, it's over. And then the film carried on. So what attracted you to the script? It's a brilliant script. Nick Hornby, who's just coming along now, wrote the most wonderful screenplay. And that was it. It was, it was the, the, the whole script. It wasn't, you know, just my part. I, I read the whole thing. The whole thing was wonderfully written. Funny and um, original and, and, and witty and dry and emotionally true and everything. It's the only reason I ever do anything. So how comes you're here tonight? Uh, I've got some friends in the film. Have you heard much about it yet? Yeah, quite a bit, but I've been trying to sort of turn my ear off to the actual story so I can just kind of concentrate on that anew. But, um, yeah, there's been quite a good publicity well about it, hasn't there? So, you know, it's about Lynn Barber, and I know Kerry plays her as a young, wayward version of Lynn Barber, and I'm very excited about seeing what happens. So what's next for you? Um, well, I'm doing a film, I'm just finishing a short, not a short film, sorry, a low-budget film called Barrafundle Bay, uh, which was fantastic, really good script by Vaughan Savelle, which is due out sometime next year, and I'm about to do a, a film with uh, Rachel Weisz called The Whistleblower. Uh, which is in Romania and set in Bosnia at the uh, end of the war and to do with uh, sex trafficking. And uh, yeah, we'll start that next week. So any comedy coming up for you? Any comedy? <laughs> um, uh, any comedy? No, no, no. Other than the usual pratfalls, no. I don't think there's any purposeful comedy coming up. Thank you so much. For well, How are you feeling here tonight on your red carpet? Good. Very honoured to sort of be with uh, in this company, just as I was in the film, really. So, um, And like the first time I've met some of these people, actually, because... Uh, we had the read through and we called, kind of did the polite handshake and then I uh, disappeared and went on our separate paths and um, it's nice to have a sort of mini reunion. And I haven't seen the film yet either, so uh, I'm going to see the film tonight, <laughs> which would be good. Are you yeah. excited about that then? Uh, yeah, I am. Especially uh, I've heard lots of good things about it, so apparently it's quite good. So how did you end up being cast in this film? Um, well, it's kind of the usual process really. The script came through and uh, I immediately realised that this part was mine <laughs> and often I kind of get quite possessive about parts of films and I, I knew this one was mine and then I discovered Kerry was doing it, I'd worked with Kerry before and everything sort of in my head clicked into place that like this should be something I should do and then I signed on and then only after that like the rest of the cast became clear who else was in it, uh, Emma Thompson, Alfred Molina and it suddenly just became this huge thing which I thought was just a little British film I was doing sort of for a couple of weeks and it became this. So, so can yeah. you tell us a bit about your character? I play Graham who is the 
The boy was infatuated with Kerry Mulligan's character, as any hot-blooded young teenager would be, obviously, and um, and I'm the guy that the parents kind of try to sort of hook up with her. My parents sort of live nearby, and they know um, Kerry's character's parents, and they think it'd be a good idea if we kind of became girlfriend and boyfriend. But uh, but she, of course, is interested in French poetry and attractive people like Peter Sarsgaard. So I kind of get pushed to the side. Um, but hopefully, by the end of the film, you all think that she definitely should have picked me, and she obviously should have picked me. What's that all about? That's fantastic. <laughs> so, thank, thank you. Very thank you very much. much. Thanks. You've come a long way from London. How does it feel Basically, to be in London having this fabulous premiere? And most of the screens for you tonight. Very exciting. They're not quite good enough, though. They're kind of a slightly... It sounds as though my family's gone over and said, shout Dominic to a few of them. They don't really know, have any idea who I am whatsoever. But I do... It's quite enjoyable. This is much bigger than I expected. I was expecting a sort of tuft of red carpet outside a doorway in Soho. But this is good. This is good you're here and you leather glove. So, what else? I don't know what else to say. You're cold, aren't you? Yes, I am. But you're yeah. happy. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Good. happy to be talking to you. Well, you're not really. <laughs> no, you're in Hollywood. And, uh, anything exciting coming up in your life so you want to tell us about? Uh, anything exciting in my life? I'm doing a cheeky little film at the moment, but it's not in Hollywood. But I'm playing a very disgusting drummer with a lot of eye makeup who drives a yellow Porsche in Stephen Freer's new film called Tomorrow Drew. That's what I'm doing. What else can I say? You can tell us about this film. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> yes. What do you want to know about it? Who am I? What has happened to me? I play a sort of deceitful, rather dodgy London um, criminal who um, it comes from a very affluent, exciting, um, well-educated background. He's sort of part of the world that all the other characters are desperate to, to aspire to, desperate to be part of. Um, and it's about a girl's really carries journey um, and, and I think we can all relate to it I think we can all see traits in ourselves that these characters you know um, experience I think it's a very what, what warms my heart is the fact that people have responded to it so well and it's actually a genuine true story about human emotion that we all experience and feel as we're growing up um, and even though it's a young girl experiencing uh, going from childhood to adolescence to adulthood which she does beautifully uh, we can all, all relate to it. I don't know what I just said then. If any of it possibly makes any sense, good. That's fantastic. Thank you, Dominic. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Carrie. Congratulations Hi. on your film. Thank you. First, most important question: the dress. The dress. Where's it from? It's V and A. Did they t pick it out for you? Did you go and uh, pick it yourself? We we sort of had a couple of options and and then we went for this one because you can eat a lot in this dress. So stunning. So, so, yeah, as a bonus. So can you tell us a bit about the film? Uh, yeah, I play uh, Jenny, who's a 16-year-old growing up in the very early, not very interesting part of the 60s, um, and she's fiercely academic and she's headed to Oxford and she meets a man uh, who can show her a kind of other other side of life, a very. Uh, colourful side and so she kind of goes off with them. That's sort of it in a nutshell. <laughs> I should learn a better synopsis. That's fantastic. Thank you.